<laughs> I'm being serious. What's up guys, with the release of my new mod, today I thought I'd make a quick video walking you guys through step by step how you can install it for yourselves, as well as I thought I'd go over a few of the features of the mod and kind of explain how it works. So without any further ado, let's jump right into it. Alright, so the first thing you're going to need to do in order to install this mod is to navigate to its homepage on Nexus Mods, and I'll leave a link to this in the description of the video. And once you're here, if you scroll down, you can see that I've actually already left some instructions on how to install the mod in the description, but I thought I'd go over them in a little bit more detail in this video. So now that you're on the homepage, you're going to need to hit on Files, and then I'm going to click on Manual Download. And I'm just going to click on Slow Download since I don't have a premium account or anything like that. And once it starts downloading, there is actually one other program we're going to need to download as well in order to install this mod. And that program is UXM. Now, the reason you're going to want to download UXM is because we want to unpack the game files of Dark Souls 3. And then what we're going to do is we're going to replace some of those game files with our special modded HUD files. Okay, so once the mod is finished downloading, you can go ahead and double click on it to open it up. And it's a zip folder, so we're going to need to hit extract all and then browse, and then I'm just gonna go to my desktop and I'm gonna click on this folder that I've already made here and just extract it there. But you can extract it to wherever you'd like, wherever you think is a suitable location for it. Now, next up, we're going to just return to our desktop here, and then I'm gonna open up File Explorer, and you're going to want to navigate down to your C drive, or whichever drive you have Dark Souls 3 installed on, then Program Files x86, then come down to Steam, then Steam Apps, Common, Dark Souls 3, and finally open up the game folder. Inside of this game folder, you probably won't see all of these extra folders here yet, unless if you've already unpacked your game with UXM. So let's go ahead and do that right now. Inside of this main game folder, I've just made a little UXM folder right here, and then just drag and drop the program into here, and double click on it to launch it, and you're going to confirm that this has the correct executable path, so you wanna hit on browse, and just navigate to this same exact game folder, and hit on open, then make sure that this executable path is ending in Dark Souls 3.exe. Next up, you're going to hit on Unpack, and you're just going to wait for UXM to do its thing, and it should unpack all of the Dark Souls 3 game files for you, and then when you just close it off once it's done, and you come back, you should see a whole bunch of folders here now created. Now the last step is to just open up wherever you decide to download the mod to, so I'm going to open it up. And from here, you're just going to choose whichever version you'd like, whether that be the regular version or the Mage and Pyromancer version with the extra spell box. For me, I'm just going to hit on the regular version. And you just take all three of these files and you're going to drag and drop them into the menu folder. Then it's going to ask you if you want to replace the files and you're going to hit yes. And the last step here is just to come back to UXM, open it up and hit patch. And as soon as that's done, you should be all good to go and you can go ahead and open up Dark Souls 3 and hopefully all the changes have been applied. Now that we're back in game, you can see that our custom HUD mod has been successfully installed and some of its features include the fact that all the major HUD elements have been resized and repositioned. So that includes things such as the HP bar, the stamina bar, and the FP bar. All three of those have been made slightly smaller and a little bit shorter, as well as moved a little bit further into the top left hand corner of the screen to keep them out of the way. The souls count box has also been removed along with all the character status icons, except for the seed icon and the invasion eye. Then also the left and right weapon hand boxes have been removed. And whether you have the mage version or the regular version, you may or may not have one or two boxes. So you will have the item box and the spell box if you have the mage version, or if you just have the regular version, then you'll just have the one item box in the top left hand corner. So that's obviously been moved and made a little bit smaller as well. And the text has also been removed that goes along with it. So that declutters the screen a little bit more as well. And finally, the status ailment icons have also been moved to the top left hand corner and their build up bars have been completely removed as to stop them from blocking the center of the screen. So if I just equip the prisoner's chain and then unequip it, you can see that those are the status ailment icons now in the top left hand corner, nicely hidden and out of the way. And so other than that, that's been it for this video and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Oh, <laughs>